Hey YouTube, so this is a, a really different kind of video. This is a call to action for my fellow vegan YouTubers. So as vegan YouTubers, we have a really important job, I think anyway, in terms of being a portal through, um, through which many other people, many young people in particular, get to see the world from a vegan perspective and kind of make sense of it and make informed decisions about what is the best or not the best course of action in terms of bringing about positive change in the world. Now there's one area that vegan YouTubers have honestly dropped the ball and that's um, the realm of politics. That's actually what gave birth to the Onion Night show here on YouTube is the obvious need for um, more political discussion, more political discourse um, among vegans and specifically on YouTube. Um, 2016 was the year that uh, veganism became a political issue, but you wouldn't know it from, from watching vegan YouTubers. America right now is in the middle of a political revolution that's setting history. The, we're running two of the least popular candidates in US history, in Dan Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton. Third parties have the most support that they've ever had in US history. And there's a new political party that has animal rights and veganism as its platform issue. Again, history making. So all this historic stuff is going on, but none of it's being talked about by vegan YouTubers. I just, I just shot a uh, story from Reuters where um, a group of 13 or 17 investors, major, major investors, have shifted $1.25 trillion, I believe, from animal agriculture to plant-based agriculture. China has um, enacted a bill that will cut uh, it's the entire country of China's meat consumption by 50%. Denmark is now taxing uh, people who eat meat. Veganism as a political issue is already here and we as a group need to tackle that beast of a conversation so that our viewers can actually make some informed decisions. Now, why is it the case that so many people that have devoted themselves to explaining how others can make a positive change in the world every day by voting with their dollars, why is it that those same people refuse to talk about voting with your vote the one time that you actually get to once every four years? Well, there's a couple of different answers to that question. The first obviously being that most people don't know anything about politics because most people don't follow it, which is totally fine because it's 95% bullshit anyway. Then there's political apathy. People are so disenfranchised at this point that even the, saying the word politics makes them roll their eyes and change the conversation. And then the last big reason obviously is that YouTubers run the risk of losing some subscribers in such a conversation. You know, telling telling uh, viewers on a vegan YouTube channel to not make the same decision in an election that they make every single day of their life, well, that a conversation like that has the potential to undermine, for, for some people, every everything that they've said on their channel up until that point. And that's a really difficult situation for people to put themselves in especially if they, you know, rely on their channel for income, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So we're calling for amnesty on this one. No one's going to unsubscribe because just because they disagree. Get this. If The Onion Knight wasn't here, Clifton Roberts and this entire historic uh, campaign would have been talked about on YouTube for eight minutes by Mr. and Mrs. Vegan, six minutes by Plant Based, um, by N Nafsika, excuse me if I said it wrong, and six minutes by Klaus from Plant Based News, who isn't even from this country, um, but he does have another uh, longer interview with him coming up, um, and two minutes or so by the Broccoli Industry, which is another awesome channel. More people need to sub the Broccoli Industry. So, 22 minutes of coverage outside of the Onion Night on YouTube. If you were to compare that, with the amount of time this year 
uh, spent on nonsense, catty gossip, and just repeat content, you would you would honestly have to ask yourself seriously what what is the function of like what's the point what's what's the purpose of vegan YouTubers? But you said stuff about my sex life, and for me about your sex important. life. So what we're asking is that vegan YouTubers, instead of making their next video about how terrible Freely the Banana Girl is, or Freely and uh, um, during Rider, and uh, what I ate in a day. Everyone knows what you ate in a day. You ate vegetables. Um, or, I, I disagree with this person on protein. There are already hundreds, if not thousands, of videos just like that on YouTube already. So instead of doing your next one of those, we're asking that vegan YouTubers do one of two things. First, make just a five minute video with your thoughts on Clifton Roberts on why you would vote vegan, why you wouldn't vote vegan, or why you just, you don't really know yet. Or you could, if you don't feel comfortable making a video on it, just make a little something that says, hey, this typically isn't my thing, this typically isn't my topic, but this, this is an election, we have an election in a month, and Brian over at The Onion Night made this video about voting vegan, so I'm just gonna give you the link to it so you can check it out so you know what's going on in the election. I feel like we're being extremely negligent to our viewers if we let the entire election year pass and we don't let our American viewers know that there's actually a person in the election representing them. So I'm gonna call a few people out by name. These are popular vegan YouTubers that I watch. Um, but even if I don't call your name, don't think that I don't wanna hear from you. Um, I wanna put together a reel of people talking about this so that before the election on November 8th, everyone can see them in one place. And let me be 100% clear, I am by no means saying that you should endorse Clifton Roberts because he's vegan. That's not what I'm saying at all. I wanna hear from you even if you don't wanna vote for Clifton Roberts. We need to hear that perspective. Freely the Banana Girl, Durian Ryder, That Vegan Couple, Brown Vegan, Rising Resilience, Fully Rock Christina, Abad Laciel, Carrie McCarpet, Unnatural Vegan, Vegan Gains, Bite Size Vegan, The Friendly Activist, Marine Janine, Chocolate Vegan, The Vegan Batman, Bananiac, uh, Reg Flowers, Mike the Vegan, uh, Urban Black Vegan, Happy Healthy Vegan, Cheap Lazy Vegan, The Honest Vegan, The Vegan Activist, by Ari Danielle, Vegan Revolution, Abantu May, uh, Angela Eats Plants, Sorsha Morgan, The Vegan Cheetah, High Carb Hannah.